Hi, and welcome to Hoxton Therapy. This is a narration of one of our articles. Emotional abuse. Emotional abuse comes in all shapes and sizes. There are many ways to deal with such abuse. Abuse often comes from those who are angry. Angry people are often very anxious. In this article or this recording, we will have a look at how to deal with the anger and abuse, the effects of abuse and recovering from abuse. We will also discuss domestic violence and the law, the pathology of abuse, police efforts against abuse and violence, and who is affected by such abuse. The silent answer. Not all emotional abuse comes from shouting or criticism. Disengaging is one of the most common types of emotional abuse. Disengaging is where a partner is constantly distracted or preoccupied. Those who do this do not have to put you down. However, the fact that they do not talk or even consider the other person's views is a form of abuse. If they do this, if they actually if they do actually do this, they are likely to be dismissive or impatient. Stonewalling. This is where a partner um, never makes the time to think about the other person's views. These people will often think, say things like, do what you like, just keep me out of it. In this case, people are often flirts, obsessive or workaholics. They may also love to sit on the couch all day and do nothing. They often see no point in trying. If they do try, they think they will fail. These two tactics make someone feel like they don't matter, unseen or unheard, and not as attractive as other people. Harmful adoptions when dealing with anger and abuse. When it comes to dealing with someone who is angry or abusive, it is rarely about shouting or criticism or other obvious wrongdoing, wrong behaviour. It is more about the adoptions that they try to prevent and hide from others. Those like this usually end up walking on eggshells. They think this will help them to keep peace or keep some kind of connection with other people. When it comes to negative effects that come from walking on eggshells, women are the ones who are the most vulnerable to this. This is because they can get anxious easily. Women who experience emotional abuse often end up losing themselves. Men who experience emotional abuse will often isolate themselves. They occupy themselves with work or other hobbies. Nobody can fully remove the effects of abuse. Those who can walk on eggshells lose some kind of dignity and autonomy. They will often often have depression and anxiety. As a result, the symptoms experienced will interfere with many aspects of their lives and those with this condition. They will find it difficult to work productively, sleep and concentrate. Drinking may also occur regularly. Self-esteem can often become very low. Emotional abuse can be more psychologically harmful than physical abuse. There are all kinds of reasons for this. For example, if a violent outburst occurs, there will be a period where the person will, be, will feel remorseful. They will pay attention to what they have, they have just done. However, once this has ended, they will say things like, don't worry about what is going on, just stop hitting me. Emotional abuse occurs repeatedly every day. This is more harmful than physical abuse because of its frequency. Those who have been abused emotionally blame others. They think they are the problem when they are not. To recover from walking on eggshells, you must be able to give your attention to the positivity of the relationship. Then you can begin to focus on healing yourself. When you begin to heal the inside of you, this becomes very powerful. Healing from such abuse is a must. Once you heal, you will realise how valuable you are. You will be able to be more confident and more powerful. It does not matter what others do or say. You will have the strength to value and respect your relationships. Dealing with domestic violence. In December 2014, an announcement in the UK was made in what domestic abuse actually is. Domestic abuse now actually is controlling and coercive behaviour. The new laws changed were made to the Serious Crimes Bill of 2015. Psychological abuse is now an offence that can be punished. Why was the law made? Domestic abuse can be described as tantamount to torture. Those who experience abuse were stuck in psychological and physical violence. The outcomes of such violence often result in death. Those who abuse others often keep abusing until they have control of their victims. The new laws were made so that this this can save lives. It is designed to remove such violence and abuse.
What do these domestic violence changes mean? Before the new law came about, the original definition of abuse was not an offence. Those who behave in such a way will end up in jail for at least 14 years. These people are now the same as violent abusers. It is expected this law will begin sometimes towards the end of 2015. The pathology of abuse. Domestic abuse is where an abuser seeks to control and have power over those they abuse. They will do their best to a. lower the esteem of their victims, b. suppress the personality of the victim, c. create social dependency, d. restrict the, restrict the financial freedom of their victim, e. Psych physically abuse and threaten their victims so they become fearful. Police efforts against domestic abuse and domestic violence. Many English and Welsh police are unable to deal with the deal effectively with abuse and violence. Only eight out of 40, 43 will be dealt with well. In Lancashire, however, the police were found to have the best response to such abuse and violence. Who is affected by domestic abuse? At least 1.2 million women have been affected by abuse. Many have been reported. But when it comes to men, abuse is less likely to be reported. Most victims don't seek help. They don't think it will change their situation. Abuse also occurs between siblings or even caregivers. In this recording, we have seen that emotional abuse comes in all, in, in all kinds of ways. It comes in many forms and is, all, is always happening. The effects of abuse will never be completely removed. All forms of domestic abuse can now be punished, particularly in the UK. The good news is, help can be sought if a victim wants to remove themselves from abuse. It is okay to contact the police in whatever abusive situation you find yourself in. You have nothing to be afraid of. There are, they are there to help. As with all issues written about this on this website, please seek help from a trained professional before acting on any information in this article. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that narration of one of our articles on our website, hoxtontherapy.com. Um, as usual, we have our podcast, which answers your question, and the name of the podcast is the Ask Hoxton Therapy Show. You can ask us questions on social media, and we will answer those questions in upcoming either video content, and of course, when our video content's done, um, our podcast content audio is done as well. So stay safe out there. It's COVID-19 at the moment. Till next time, goodbye. Never act on any advice given in these articles, videos or audios. Always seek professional help before acting on anything you read or watch or listen to on this website or in our podcast or on our YouTube channel or anywhere on our social media.